So yesterday we saw some combinations and placements which can give grand status to somebody in life. But there's one question I got in Instagram. What about Ketu? You didn't speak about Ketu. Well, yes, certainly. So the question was, does Ketu also give Raj Yoga or grand status or something which no other planet can give? Well, actually, Ketu can and Ketu certainly does. But the thing is, why do we even ask these questions uh, like, you know, oh, can Ketu also give something? I mean, why not? It's a planet. It can and it does and it will. All right. But great. That's exactly what we are going to discuss, which is if Ketu can give in which circumstances. Okay. But the same principle, the same two principles will apply before I speak anything in regards to Ketu, which is the overall chart has to be strong and you need good dashas. Otherwise, it may not happen. All right. So, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it, watch my other videos, please, and also hit the thumbs up at the end after watching, and for consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time, just look to him, and you will find him irrespective of where your Ketu is. So, what is Ketu? If you don't understand Ketu, you will not even believe that Ketu can give you wealth and luxuries and Raj Yogas. Why? See, what is Ketu? Ketu is the flag. What? Where, where do you see a flag? Flag is the symptom of a territory that is conquered already. Either it's conquered before or it's newly conquered. But at the end, it's a territory that is conquered by somebody. Okay, That person could be anybody. It could be you or your enemies. <laughs> but it's a territory that is won. So therefore, Ketu actually is the opposite of Rahu in the sense that Rahu shows things which you want to conquer. But Ketu shows things which you have already conquered, which means you already are enjoying that status. Now, the first placement, of course, undoubtedly, which can make you very wealthy with Ketu is none other than Ketu in the 10th house. <clears throat> Now, you might have been thinking, oh, Ketu in the 4th will make me wealthy, you know, uh, because then Rahu is going to be in the 10th, right? No, see, Rahu in the 10th can also make you very wealthy. But Ketu in the 10th can make you even more wealthy sometimes because Ketu in the 10th can give you this feeling that I don't desire name fame, but I will still go and get authority positions, leadership role, administrative positions to help society. So, in that case, Ketu gives you detachment in regards to the 10th house. So, you become very detached and people want to work with people who are detached. So, therefore, uh, this placement of Ketu in the 10th house is very powerful. Now, what is another placement of Ketu which is like a Raj Yoga? This is the placement of Ketu in conjunction or mutual aspect, but primarily conjunction of the ninth lord with Ketu placed in a very powerful Kendra house, especially the 10th or the Lagna or could even be the 4th or the 7th, but, but it should be associated with the ninth lord. Why? Why? Why ninth lord? Because Ketu is the Karaka for confusion also. Rahu and Ketu both, but Rahu gives a different kind of anxiety-oriented confusion. Ketu does not give anxiety-oriented confusion. Ketu gives you the feeling that, okay, you have no idea of what to do. Rahu is like, I have 10 things to do. Which one should I do? <laughs> Ketu is like, I, I, I have nothing. So I'm confused. What should I do now? <laughs> should I even do something? So therefore... The ninth lord shows the blessings of God in form of the guru or some guide or some counselor. So if Ketu is powerfully placed in a kendra with the ninth lord, then what happens is Ketu is not confused anymore, which means he does not create confusion in your life, right? So therefore, Ketu 
along with the ninth lord placed powerfully in the in a very strong kendra house can be a very big indicator of raj yoga because then all confusions from your life are dispelled okay and of course i would love to know from you in the comments what what experiences are you having with your particular ketu's position in xyz house with sign it is with which planet with <clears throat> aspected by which planet now please let me know what is your luck now your moon sign and let's have a good discussion in the comment section all right now what is the third position the third position is the conjunction of ketu and the sun very 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 important position see why do i say ketu and the sun sun and rahu also but i have seen sun and ketu more why think about it what is ketu what is the sun see ketu uh, is the planet of spirituality it is the planet of confusion uh, materialistic confusion but what is the sun the sun is the significator of clarity right the sun is the significator of the self so when ketu and sun are together in the horoscope then what happens is the person can be very uh, or even not very the person is completely aware of himself so then what happens is the person can actually focus and deliver results because the person can focus on the areas which is important to him but if ketu is not associated with the sun then it can give confusion in regards to one's identity and most of the times people do not get success because not because they are not capable of it but they don't know where should they put their energy so sun and ketu together will give you very good clarity in life and uh, some systems of astrology also say this is like a shiva yoga okay it's a great yoga for meditation and spiritual progress and of course as always if this is present in the 5th or the 9th um, then this is exceptionally good or even if there's no conjunction but the sun is aspecting ketu you can have clarity in life okay but of course if it is with ketu conjunct even better okay and if it is in kendra or 5th or 9th even better even 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 better what is the next placement through ketu which can make you one hell lot of money <laughs> this is a very 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 interesting placement this placement is ketu connected to the 8th and the 11th house not one of them 8th and the 11th so for example if ketu is with the 8th lord aspected by the 11th lord or ketu is in the 11th with the 8th lord or ketu is in the 8th with the 11th lord so either ways if ketu is associated with the 8th and 11th then this gives you great wealth because what is the reason because 11th house is the house of gains but why do we need the 8th house see what the 8th house is the 8th house shows windfall of money either coming into your life or going from your life what happens when there is a scandal when you run into some controversy your followers drop your subscribers drop your bank balance drops everything drops right it's like whoosh, windfall <laughs> and what happens when you get an inheritance windfall of money falls right on to you so eighth house will show something is falling somewhere either on to you or from you okay so therefore if the 11th house is associated with ketu then along with the 8th house windfall of money is falling on to you okay it's not going from you <laughs> but the reverse is also true if the 8th lord is related to ketu along with the 12th lord money is flowing out from you so this is a very big raj yoga for getting inheritance for getting um things suddenly out of nowhere because rahu and ketu also show sudden things but in this case primarily ketu will give you humongous wealth okay and what you need to understand is if ketu 
is placed this is the next thing which can give you a lot of wealth in your navamsha chart if ketu is associated with the second house why because the second house in the navamsha see the the second house in your lagna chart in your d1 your rising uh, sign that chart it shows your sanchidhan which means your accumulated wealth your net worth okay but the second house in the navamsha chart exclusively shows where the money can come in from so it's like the second house in the d9 is the input and the second house in the d1 is like the storage okay so from d9 it is getting stored in the d1 but if the storage is blocked then i mean if the door is blocked then there's no storage right so therefore you need to understand if ketu is in a good dignity in a good dignity which means it is either in a fire sign or in a water sign preferably either scorpio or sagittarius in the second house so that means if you are a virgo uh, uh, scorpio lagna okay so if you are a scorpio lagna then it's sagittarius in your second house or if you are a libra lagna in the navamsha then your second house is scorpio so so in both the cases for libra and scorpio lagna in navamsha you can have very good wealth if you have ketu in the second because ketu in the second in the navamsha can tell you you already know how to earn money you already know it because you know it from your past life right so therefore if you have these placements these are incredible placements and the last placement is the same as the one we discussed yesterday which is the number 7 because in numerology number 7 is the number of ketu so therefore if you have the number 7 ketu's blessings are there on you which means you have already done the karma the good karma you have given some donation to somebody now in this life they will come and give you back so all famous personalities will always have seven in their date of birth in their basic number or in their destiny number basic number is like the day uh, sum of the day so you are born either on 7th or 16th or 25th or the destiny number which is like your complete date of birth sum sum of your all numbers okay or you have seven anywhere in your date of birth so you are born on july or you are born in 1997 or whatever um or if you are born on 17th even then there is 7 okay so therefore these are placements related to ketu which can give you massive wealth which can give you mega wealth okay specifically in terms of wealth power position authority and that's how you know how your ketu is okay but the only problem is if ketu is related to bad houses like the dusthana uh, then a lot of wealth goes because you are a pro in screwing up things <laughs> wherever ketu is you are like a pro there wherever rahu is you are a novice so if ketu is in the 12th house you are a pro in spending money you lose everything right maybe that is also the reason they say ketu in 12th depending on the chart and other parameters is a indication of moksha in a sarcastic sense it is because when you have nothing else to lose <laughs> the only thing you would have to gain is moksha right and for most of the people not for everybody of course right okay ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for your patience and for sub, uh, for newcomers please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and for consultations you can always go to my website okay thank you so much jai shri ram